Okay. Actually, do me one favor. Just sure. what, repeat about Bob because I may have lost. <clears throat> we were talking. Well, about get me started well, again. You know, tell me about his Bob's vehicles. Okay. Bob Waldmeyer was a unique Route 66 character. He was this itinerant, hippie, migratory roadside artist on Route 66. And he traveled it in a succession of really interesting vehicles. The one he's most well known for is his Volkswagen camper van, which he festooned with all his signs and collection and trinkets, environmental statements. And he would drive that down Route 66 and just camp out along the way and do his artwork on site. Uh, I would drive down Route 66 myself and he, either see him in his van. Sometimes I would see him in his converted school bus, which he added this whole wooden superstructure to and built him this amazing kind of like a land yacht, kind of like a prairie schooner. And it was psychedelic inside and rustic outside. And you just stop in and chew the fat with Bob. He would go back and forth on 66 between his home in Illinois and you know the West Coast. And uh, many businesses would hire him to do a picture or a postcard of their establishment. And other times he'd do ones, you know, for himself. His little pen and ink sketches, which he has had produced dozens of postcards, maps, and he loved nature. So he has lots of artwork about birds and bioregional issues. He started uh, his uh, bioregional visitor center in Hackberry, Arizona, back when he owned it and he was there for many years until I think there was too many people stopping by and there was too many strip mining start started in nearby you know mountain areas and he moved to a quieter corner of southeastern Arizona but yeah it was always a treat to see Bob along the way always a treat to talk to him he was a unique character there'll never be another Bob Waldmeyer sat alongside 66 doing his artwork in his strange vehicles and just leaving this carefree bohemian life you know he was the spirit of the road the uh, cars did cars honor <clears throat> well yes uh cars the the van what what is the name of the van on cars now i say let's stop a second let me think about that because that's part of the story oh yeah i can google it real fast. yeah please uh Fillmore? I'm not going to know it. I'm going to have to. Oh, but I'll, I'll just I'll get it quickly here. What well, could have been called? Um, well, I know they were going to call it Waldmeyer, but what's it called now? I think Fillmore, perhaps. There's Rusty's, no. Leroy Traffic, Dusty. What is the name of the van and cars? According to Pixar Wiki, Fillmore. Radiator Springs resident. Fillmore. Oh, it is Fillmore. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting your other names like Chauncey. Or <sighs> But yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about. Oh, oh yeah, right here. It does say Schwarzenegger yeah. Phil. Yeah, Phil okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the animators, the producers of Cars for Pixar, they did a trip with uh, Michael Wallace, the famous Route 66 author and spokesperson. And they, they were in uh, Galena, Kansas, and that's where they got the inspiration for Toe Mater. And... Uh, as they traveled west, you know, they became acquainted with Bob Waldmeyer's works. So they had this hippie van character that they wanted to name Waldmeyer in his honor. And Bob asked me what I thought, you know, and I think, well, that's kind of cool, but they're going to make happy meals out of these things, Bob. Okay, Bob Waldmeyer was a staunch vegetarian, even though his family runs to Cozy Dog in Springfield. And he, he kind of... I think that's one thing that influenced him to politely decline the honor. So they named him Fillmore. That's 
But uh, so later Bob adopted that. He did a really neat illustration of where here is Bob's van and Fillmore meeting. And Bob's van says, what the F? It's Fillmore. <laughs> <laughs> That is great. 